Hey there, we'll be taking a look at how to create additional administrator accounts for your website. You may want to do this if you have employees or other team members that will be helping you manage the website, or if you've hired a third-party developer to help you set up or customize your website. So to manage our website's administrator accounts, in the left-hand menu we'll go to Settings and Admin Accounts. Here in the Admin Accounts section, we can see all of the current administrator accounts on our website, along with some basic details about them, including their admin role. So what are admin roles? They allow you to define specific types of administrators, which will restrict them from accessing certain sections of your website's admin area. So we can take a look at the admin role settings by clicking the admin role settings in the top right corner. We can see here that we don't currently have any custom admin roles configured, but at the bottom of this page, we can see the four default admin roles, developer, full access, member manager, and content manager. So if we go to the Actions menu to the left of any of these default roles, we can click Customize to customize the default roles or to see which sections of the admin area these roles will have access to. So here for the default developer admin role, you can see the various sections of the admin area that we think developers will probably need access to. So you can customize these default roles if you'd like, or in the top right corner, we can click the New Admin Role button to create our own admin roles. So here you would put in an admin role name, a description if you would like, and then you can choose which sections in the admin area you want to give these administrators access to. If you create new admin roles, those admin roles will be shown in the top half of this page here in the custom admin roles section. So let's take a step back and see how we can actually add new administrators to our website. Again, in the top right corner, there's a drop down called add new administrator. We have two options when adding administrators to the website. We can either invite a new admin via their email address, or we can manually create their account for them. If we click invite admin via email, all you need to do is type in their email address and select the role you want to assign to their account from this dropdown. After you do that, click the send invite button, and that person will receive an email that looks something like this. All they need to do is click the button in this email to accept the invitation and create their administrator account. But if you would like to manually create an administrator account, you can click the Create New Admin option. Here you will add their username, which you would probably want to make their email address. You can create their password. Again, you would assign an admin role to this account. You can add their name, email address, phone number, and even an email signature if you would like. Once you click Save Changes, this new admin account will be listed here in the Primary Admin Account section. Now a couple security features that you may want to know about are the options to log administrators out of all of their current sessions or to see all of their active sessions. A session is just where they happen to be logged in at currently. Show active sessions will just show you where they happen to currently be logged in at and from which browsers. Log out all sessions is an important security feature that you might want to take advantage of if one of your administrators happens to have their computer stolen, for example. If their computer is stolen, you don't want the person who stole their computer to be able to access your website's admin area. So if that were the case, and the administrator was logged in to your website on their computer, you can click Log Out All Sessions, and that will log the administrator out of their account, so next time they come to your website's admin area, they'll need to log back in with their password. You most likely won't ever need to utilize either of these two options, but they're good to know about just in case. And that's all there is to it. It's very simple to add new administrator accounts as well as to manage your administrators. If you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.